bunch of kids we've all been very fortunate to work with and fifth graders hard to believe a year from now I know you're gonna be on your best behavior and you're gonna be standing there so look to what they're doing and follow their example so right now we would like to have the SCA officers please come up and lead us in the pledge Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please join me for the Pledge Pledge. Good afternoon and welcome to Coates. I'm Tony Rose, the principal of this wonderful school, and I want to thank you all for partnering with us to make it such a special place for children to learn. Today is a very special day as the sixth graders complete their elementary school experience. I hope that you all have wonderful memories of your time at our school because we adults all of the ones all around the room have wonderful memories of you and your time with us. For me, it seems like yesterday that I first met many of you as fourth graders, and now you're leaving us. Our vision at Coates Elementary is that everyone will become learners, achievers, and proud members of a successful community. We are all so proud of the successful young adults that you have become. In a few minutes, we will recognize your contributions, such as SCA, patrols, news crew. You have been role models for the younger students at Coates. And I look forward to hearing about all your accomplishments in middle school and beyond. So please be sure to come back and visit us. Now parents, a little advice. This is a little personal advice too because I'm proud to say my children all survived their middle school and teenage years and they're all adults. 
And this was long before the social media that's out there now. So, as you know, time will fly. I'm sure you all remember bringing them to kindergarten and it seemed like yesterday. Soon, you'll be at their graduation for high school. And maybe some of you have kids graduating tomorrow from Westfield High School. Remember to enjoy every minute and every day, but stay as involved as you can in your child's life and education. Sometimes we think by the time they get to middle school, they don't need us anymore. They need us more than ever. Let them have some responsibility, but continue to provide some guidance. Remember that you are still the parent. Be sure to ask about their friends and invite them over so you get to know their friends. It's also really important to monitor their use of social media. We've all seen this year how that can interfere with learning. Be sure you know who they're talking with and what they're posting for the whole world to see. We've talked about that, haven't we, boys and girls? Yeah. Sometimes their online exchanges at home can interfere with their learning and their friendships, and then we work with them at school to solve those problems. So, on a more serious note, take time to listen to their dreams, all the dreams that they have for the future, and support them as they reach for their goals. Thank you so much for coming today and sharing this important milestone in your child's life. And then just a little housekeeping. When we are finished and we excuse the parents, you may go out to their classrooms in the luxury learning cottages behind the school and sign them out if you would like to take them home with you. But we also ask that you do that quickly. We hope to be finished by 3.30 so we can get everybody out of here so the buses can get in the front parking lot. So at this time, the music performance led by Mrs. Smith, Ms. Stubbs, and Ms. Bedger.
Okay, thank you so much. That was a lovely performance. I know you all worked very hard and it sounded great. We are now ready to get started with our awards portion. Um, first, we'll have activity awards and Mr. Terror is gonna start us out with the SCA awards. We have five different activities that we're gonna announce students for, so we ask that the audience hold their applause until we're done with those. Uh, the first activity is SCA, which stands for the Student Council Association. Uh, this year they participated in the Westfield Homecoming Parade and organized a food drive not only at Coates, but within uh, other um, communities uh, out in the area. Uh, would the following students please stand to be recognized? Uh, Melanie, Nita, Jonathan, and Brooke. And we're fortunate enough to have Jonathan and Brooke rejoin SCA again next year as well. And now to recognize the patrols, we have the patrol sponsors, Mr. Gardner and Ms. Herbert. A safety patrol is someone who's highly responsible and kind, and someone who wants to serve and help to keep the people safe at school. If you served as a patrol this year, fifth and sixth graders, please stand and be recognized. Thank you all for your commitment of helping to keep students here at Coke safe. And next we have Ms. Meehan, our librarian, to recognize the news crew. Good afternoon. Each and every morning, Coates Elementary School is greeted with good morning, Coates stars. And this news program would not be possible without the amazing support of Ms. Smith and Ms. Garcia and our wonderful dedicated news crew who is, are willing to be pulled out of class to help if need be. Can those students who are on the news crew please stand for a moment and take a bow? Thank you. And now Ms. Kelleher to recognize Girls on the Run. I was lucky enough this year to work with a group of talented young ladies. Uh, we worked every Tuesday and Thursday. We, you might see us running outside the building. Uh, we worked our way up to a 5K. So if you were a member of Girls on the Run, either the fall or spring season, please stand and be recognized. stand or have the children who participated in our Odyssey of the Mind group. We had four sixth graders, Eugenia, Sage, Caitlin, and Krishna, who participated this year. But this is something we've been growing for the past four years when I came on. And we're very proud of these students. Some of them, this is more than one time they've done it. And it's a competition, as you can probably figure out, Odyssey of the Mind. So they have to think about doing things and um, putting things together, lots of teamwork. So if those people who participate in Odyssey of the Mind, even if you're not a sixth grader, can please stand up. And be recognized, good job. And now we'll hear from our course, Mrs. Smith and Ms. Dunn. We are very proud to have an ever-growing group of singers who represent Coates. And if you are in the chorus this year, both fifth and sixth grade, please stand to be recognized. Thank you, you may be seated. Every year, Fairfax County 
Tennessee, for the, as long as I can remember, has a very special opportunity for our sixth grade singers. We have seven singers today that we would like to give a certificate to for their participation in the all-county chorus. These seven singers worked for many months to prepare their music and then were able to participate in singing with 900 other singers from around the county. So if those students could please come up as I call your name, Richa Kedkar, Joseph, Joseph Barber, Adriana Lemus, Sage Nishan, Olivia Williams, Cameron Wofford, and Caitlin Long. These singers worked very hard for so many weeks and we would just like to congratulate them on a job well done. Every year, Schools across Fairfax County give out a special award, the Superintendent's Vocal Award. The students who receive this award are models in our schools in their music class, as well as their participation in chorus. Our recipient this year has consistently shown exceptional desire and willingness to show her peers how a music student can do their best. Our award this year goes to Adriana Lemus. to Mr. Rennie, who will give our superintendent's award for string and band. Um, before, um, I would just like to take this time to um, recognize all of our strings from fifth and sixth grade this year. If you guys could all please stand up. Thank you very much. Um, our strings um, recipient this year is somebody who I've had the pleasure of teaching for the last three years and someone who's always gone above and beyond what's expected. Has participated in solo and ensemble festival, has been a member of the area orchestra, um, and it is Joseph Barber. the band award and uh, at this time if you were a member of band fifth and sixth grade could you please stand up and recognize <laughs> The Outstanding Musicianship Award in band goes to a responsible, hardworking sixth grader who has shown um, her dedication to the Coates Elementary Band program all year long. The student must be proficient on their instrument, involved in extracurricular band activities outside of Coates Elementary, enthusiastic and dedicated band student throughout the whole year. The Outstanding Musicianship Award for Band goes to Caitlin Wong. And at this time, I'm going to turn it over to uh, Ms. Clonson and Mrs. Herbert uh, for the Art Awards. This year, some students were selected to have their um, artwork photographed for a magazine put out by the World Gate Center. We would like to recognize the students whose outstanding artwork was displayed in that magazine show. Uh, could you please stand when you hear your name called? Adriana Lemus. Blanca Solis 
Escobar. And Christian Vigil Henriquez. There was also a Westfield Pyramid Art Show, and the following outstanding artwork was displayed in the Westfield Pyramid Art Show at Westfield High School. Um, we would like to present the following students a certificate. So if you please come forward and get your certificate. Um, first, um, NG Sol Solerzo Rodriguez. And NG's artwork um, was also selected by the um, National Arts Honor Society as being outstanding. Now all the high school students looked at the artwork and they decided what they liked best and NG's was selected. So. Um, also, um, Josue Fuentes. Glenn McLean. <laughs> Caitlin Wong. Mayor Katri. <laughs> Sarah Shrinhandi. <laughs> and Kevin Kalecki. The following fifth, fifth graders also were in the Westfield Pyramid Art Show. Um, Miria Greer. And Miria also um, won an award from the National Arts Honor Society. Same thing. She shows her artwork. Um, Helen Del Cid. Celeste McCauley. Kelsey Kumnick. And Daniel Kahn. Have an outstanding artist award and um, both myself and Mrs. Herbert are going to give an award out. Um, the outstanding artist award is given to a creative individual um, who shows in every media a unique personal style. Um, this person dares to try different techniques honoring traditional methods 95% of the time. The other 5% of the time is that which will put them in line with other artists um, who bestow on the world a creative impulse. Um, I'm pleased to honor 
as Fandi R. Khan. The awards for outstanding physical education student are given to one boy and one girl who demonstrate high levels of physical fitness and ability. In addition, the students who receive this award always have top-notch sportsmanship, teamwork, and leadership skills. The female winner of the Outstanding PE Student Award this year is Marcella Aldana. this year for Outstanding PE student is Brock McCollum. The last award for physical education goes to the most improved PE student. This student has overcome some tough obstacles and is very deserving of this award. We are all faced with challenges and limitations in life. Some of us accept those limitations, while others break through them and choose to succeed no matter what. She had a rough start, but that did not stop her from improving and becoming an all-star PE student and person. It is with great honor that we present the Most Improved PE Student Award to Ms. Adriana Lemus. DAR Awards and Outstanding Work in American History DAR Awards. DAR stands for the National Society Daughters of the American Revolution, which was founded in 1890 to promote patriotism, preserve American history, and support better education for our nation's children. Its members are descended from the patriots who won American independence during the Revolutionary War. With more than 175,000 members in approximately 3,000 chapters worldwide, DAR is one of the world's largest and most active service organizations. So the region, the uh, Lanes Mill chapter that is right here in Herndon, has um, given us awards to present to one student, or two students, I'm sorry, for the Good Citizenship Award. And these two students were chosen because they have outstanding citizenship, which as we know at CODES stands for ready to shine. We don't know what it means. I guess we'll work on that. But we're always ready to shine, if anything. So our first award, um, and then we know that this probably was a pretty tough decision by our sixth grade teachers, because they looked at these two students overall for many 
years, and these two students have stood out amongst everybody around. So Elena, I'm sorry, Elia, I'm sorry, oh, I said that. Eliana Zudi, and, and Glenn McLean. The second part to that award for the DAR award is the Outstanding Work in American History, and this is presented to students in any grade for excellence in American History Studies. So we have a special award for a sixth grade student who's shown um, exemplary academic achievement and dedication to social studies, and she is Melanie Inglis. Congratulations to all of those.